The following is an edited extract from The Gardens of the Sun by Frederick William Burbage. Labuan Island Labuan is one of the smallest and least well-known of all British colonies. This island was ceded to Great Britain by the Sultan of Borneo, and a year afterwards, a settlement was established here, the late Sir James Brooke being the first governor. Alligators infest the streams and shallow sea near the town of Victoria, and now and then, a native is carried off. One of these large brutes actually tried to carry off a pony one night during my stay. Snakes are plentiful. A deadly green snake is common on the bird island, just off the mouth of the harbour, and great brown rock snakes abound. One night, a man brought back a black snake, six feet long, tied to a stick, which he said he had caught up a coconut tree, and added that it had just swallowed a bird. It was purchased, and in the morning, when it was being skinned, the boy came to say that it had young ones inside it. This we did not believe, and, on going to see it, we found that the young one was a snake, two feet long, of another species, very common in the island, which had been swallowed head foremost as usual, and was in part digested. A large boar, ten to twenty feet long, and as thick as one's arm is common in the jungle, and often commits depredations amongst the badly housed poultry, as also does the iguana. A singular sluggishness characterized all the snakes I saw, and as many of those said to be deadly by the natives to rest on the trees rather than on the ground. This may account for the extreme rarity of death from snake bites in this part of the East. It was from Labuan that my visits to the Borneon coast and to Sulu were made. Some of these adventurous wanderings were pleasant, others the reverse. I shall long remember the second journey to collect Babrigia nitida, since I was ill with fever at the time, and on Mr. Peter Veach devolved the duty of a long tramp through the tall forest, past numerous felt gutter-yielding trees, and up the hill slope beyond until just below the rocky summit. This plant is found at a place called the Devil's House. The Berbigia grows on low, wet sandstone boulders, on which their rhizomes and roots form a perfect mat. And among the plants as thus elevated, decayed leaves and other forest debris is blown by winds or washed by rains. To this place, Mr. Veach went with a body of trusty natives, and many bundles of the plants were brought back. Some of them fine masses of twenty or thirty stems, each having recently borne a large cluster of its rich orange-coloured flowers. While Mr. Veach was away, my Chinese boy, Kim Jack, got out the cooking utensils to prepare dinner on the shore, and the men who stayed behind amused themselves by looking for flowers in the low forest and on the sandstone rock near our landing place. I had to lie in the boat beneath the awning, feeling very sick, and with a splitting headache, feverish symptoms which all travellers in tropical forests alike must suffer. I was just dozing off to sleep when I heard much yelling, and my boy, who had joined the men, returned down the jungle path at full speed, shouting, Ula! Ula! Tuan! Saya mau itu senapang lekas sekali! Terima kasih! He ejaculated, as he snatched my gun and disappeared with the agility of a young goat. The gist of the matter was, he had seen a snake and was off to shoot it. After listening for ten minutes to the most deafening shouts and yells, mingled with many ejaculations of advice and caution, and the reports of both barrels echoing through the forest, I was rather disappointed to see them return with a small snake, not larger than the English viper. On my expressing my surprise and observing that, by the noise, I thought that it was a snake big enough to swallow a buffalo. The men all agreed that what it lacked in size was amply compensated for by its fatal bite, or as they expressed it, if the snake bit a man, he need not trouble about food any more, as he would have no time to pray. You have just listened 
to an edited extract from The Gardens of the Sun by Frederick William Burbage. Download a PDF copy by clicking on the link in the description below.